Okay, this little video is going to be on uh, recharging your AAA and AA batteries. Most people have a combination of some of these nickel metal hydrides, maybe some nickel cadmium or NICAD batteries, some uh, regular alkaline batteries that are the disposable one use type both a double A and triple A and uh, I don't know about you but I end up with a a bunch of alkalines that uh, just about to throw away and I get sick of paying for them so I figured out a way to recharge them and get uh, I don't know maybe out ten more uh, life cycles out of them so uh, you know I have a catch bin down in the basement that the family throws their uh, used batteries in and then uh, dad figures out how to bring them back to life and puts them back in the good the good bucket. The primary thing I use is a for most of my recharging is a device called the battery extender. It's uh, It can do most rechargeable batteries but uh, it's really not set up to do uh, alkaline batteries. Now if you look I actually measured the uh, current that the charger uses for AA and AAA batteries it uses uh, for AA 50 milliamps and for AAA 17 milliamps of charge and then uh, when you put it in there it'll turn red if you have the uh, battery and backwards. Yellow means it's on normal charge and green means it's fully charged and it, it uses voltage sensing to determine whether the battery has completed its charge and uh, these blue ones here these are NICAD batteries and these here are the nickel metal hydride batteries and uh, based on the state of uh, how discharged they are it'll take uh, some will take longer than others for the uh, for the alkalines, I have this other charger, which is one that actually came with uh, when I bought these uh, juice batteries on eBay, which are nickel metal hydrides. They, a lot of them come with this charger. It's actually a pretty nice charger. One nice thing about it, it, it just gives a straight current through it with a on a timed cycle so it will uh, basically put charge into it longer time now <clears throat> a standard uh, alkaline battery they really designed it so it's not rechargeable mm -hmm. but the only reason that's stopping it from being recharged is uh, when you run a voltage back through it to put the charge back in the seal on the two ends is just not designed very strong and they will leak out very quickly when the internal uh, material heats up so the trick is to don't let it heat up and the way I've done it is I'll use to use a regular my regular charger and I'll put it on a, uh, a timer so one of these timers that you can put the tabs in and uh, I just have it set up for about an hour per day and uh, that will given a few days it will recharge them you could buy another one of these um, wall chargers or wall timers and put maybe have it charge one hour every out of every six hours so you'll be able to recharge your your alkaline is a little bit quicker uh, but the basic idea is in a w one hour it doesn't allow it to heat up so much that it's going to vent its chemicals and then if you give it in that case about six hours to cool off or five hours to cool off and then do it again you'll probably be able to get through the charge cycle quicker but I leave this plugged in and I just pop in the any of the uh, alkalines that show up in my uh, my box here 
and then put it back in the good bin when when I'm done and so far <clears throat> the system has worked out well and we haven't had to buy uh, new alkaline batteries for a while hope that helps